Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Today I'm going to be introducing another project pan. Um, earlier this year I started some project pans and I've kind of, just because I was sick and had to deal with some health things, um, I decided to go ahead and drop those. Um, so I'm going to be picking up a few project pans for the end of this year um, and trying to stick with them. This is the Graveyard Project Pan um, for 2023. Um, it starts today and goes to uh, Halloween, um, so October 31st. Um, this has been around for a couple years now. I think the first year was 2021, maybe 2020. Um, so basically, the products you can it's a rolling project pan. And anywhere between five and ten products basically um, I'm going to be doing six I think that's what most people are doing is six um, and there's two categories in which you can roll into this project the first one is collecting cobwebs and it's just kind of what it sounds like just products that aren't getting the usage and love in your collection which I think for this intro I think all of my products are that and then the second category you can roll on is uh, resurrection products, which are products that were in previous project pans and you never finished or met your goal on them. Um, my goal is not to finish everything that I put in this project. Um, I have some usage goals on things. There's a few things I want to use up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So the first product I am rolling in, since this is going to be mostly during the summer, this is a Cetaphil uh, Daily Moisturizer with SPF 50. And right here, I feel like this would be fairly easy for me to use up. Um, I use this quite a bit on my anniversary trip, and um, as long as I rub it in really well, um, just taking a few extra minutes to make sure it's... Um, Incorporated, I don't get too much of a white cast, so I would like to finish this up, and it would be good practice to use an SPF. Moving right along, if you've been following me for a while, I don't know if this was ever actually in a project, or if I just kind of made a mental or a note that I wanted to finish this up. This is the YSL Red Lipstick. This is the mini, like a, just a sample size, and I've been going on and on about how I wanted to finish this for a while. Um, my goal for, actually for this is to only use it 30 times during this project. I don't know if that will finish this bullet or not, but I'm going to try to get as close as possible. I, I will say with this, uh, once it meets like the plastic part, I don't know if you can see it there, but once it hits that plastic part, I'm going to call this completely done if I um, have not reach the 30 use goal um because I'm just not digging out a lipstick that's especially a mini that's not something I enjoy um I should probably swatch this for you um so that is what it looks like it's just a true red up next I have another lipstick this is the Juvia's Place lipstick I'm not sure what the name of this is but it's just their liquid uh, lipstick that's black I do really enjoy this and I think both of these colors the YSL and the Juvia's Place one they just very much remind me of Halloween um, the red is like reminds me of just like a blood red and then the black um, this would be really pretty as well so my goal for this is to use this 30 times as well again don't know if that's feasible considering I do have a few other I have one more lip product in this project but we're going to attempt to do our best um, and moving right along to our third and final lip product for this intro I think this is John 2.0 lustry lip and Trina this is a gloss. I actually am getting ready to remove the stopper out of it very soon. It smells like sweet hearts to me and has a little bit of a plumping effect. Um, I really do like this lip gloss. 
Um, let me see if you can kind of see down in there. Um, I'm going to be removing that stopper. There, I'm getting a bunch of windows in this, and this is a product that I can, um, I don't know if you can see the windows there. Um, this is a product I can reapply multiple, multiple times throughout the day, and my goal for this is to use this up completely. Um, next up, I have this Ciate London blush in the shade Date Night. I do have a little bit of pan in it, just around the edges where it's kind of dropped and broke. Um, so the majority of the product is here in the middle. Um, my goal for this is to use this up. Um, I'm actually going through my blush and highlight collection fairly quickly this year. Um, I didn't use up a ton last year. So I think all the work I put in last year is finally starting to kind of show in the products themselves. Um, so hopefully we can get one less in my collection. Don't know if I can show you this one I actually have this on today but on top of the elf uh, putty blush in Turks and Caicos um, it's really pretty and then last but not least I have a single shadow from Copacetics Cosmetics please excuse my nails they're just kind of horrible right now but anyway I'm actually wearing this today on my eyes um, just wanted to kind of play around and see how things would look. <laughs> um, this is in this is a Copacetic Cosmetics single eyeshadow. Um, this is like their flaky formula, and the name is Tower of Terror. I would like to use this 15 times. Um, there is a ton of people on, here on YouTube over on Instagram that are going to be participating in this year's Graveyard Part Japan. Um, like I said, this is a rolling uh, project pan, so if I meet my goal, usage goal on any of these products between now and then, I will be rolling in something in its place. Um, and here on YouTube, I'll be doing bi-monthly updates, but over on my Instagram, I will be doing uh, monthly updates for these products. Um, so if you're not following me, be sure to be following me on Instagram. Um to see more updates on these products. Um, I do think that setting usage goals is key for me, especially for like lip products, like this black and this red. Um, just trying to get usage out of them, out of them, especially this liquid one before it smells off. Um, and then I just like, I want to get this, this YSL lipstick out of my collection in my opinion, it's kind of ridiculous that it's just a tiny sample and it's been holding on for a while. So, um, I'm really excited about this project and I cannot wait to update you guys. Um, I will say this, that if I end up reaching my goal on any of these products, um, I will probably pop back on um, between those bi-monthly updates and update you guys and let you know what I'm rolling in just so I can keep progress um, and keep like you guys updated so if I hit my 15 use goal on this eyeshadow for example as soon as I do I will probably roll something in and update you guys um, just so I can like it helps me stay accountable I guess I'm very chatty today, so I do apologize, um, but I'm really excited for this project. If you're participating in this project, I would love to know what you're most excited about um, trying to pan or hit your goal on for this year. Um, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.